So big news in blood alcohol cases, the United States Supreme Court has granted what's called certiorari. That means they're going to hear arguments and make a decision in a case out of Wisconsin, a drunk driving case where the alleged driver was unconscious at a hospital and blood was drawn from his person without him even knowing about it. So the question presented in the Mitchell versus Wisconsin case is whether a statute authorizing, the law literally allows this to happen, a blood draw from an unconscious motorist and that provides for an exception to the Fourth Amendment warrant requirement. In other words, they don't even have to get a warrant if you're unconscious and in the hospital. Now Michigan has a unique twist on that where we have a separate clause of our drunk driving statute. It allows the prosecutor, after the fact, to write a letter to the hospital to get what was in your blood if blood was drawn from you for medical treatment purposes and there was an accident and they want to prosecute you for drunk driving. Now we fought this case a couple of years ago after a trial and we went to the Court of Appeals and then the State Supreme Court denied our application for leave to appeal because it's just plain wrong. So we'll see if the Mitchell versus Wisconsin case what SCOTUS does and if that ruling gives us any avenue to pick this fight back up where we left off. It's wrong. Prosecutors shouldn't be allowed to get your medical information, whether it's to look for alcohol or THC or any other drug in your blood.